go, 98 and 80. So that's Riley Gordon and John Soto. I can't believe. Oh. to move over so because the lead is already lapping them yeah that's uh that's karen lowen just uh, uh lapping uh, alexis Badal. it's like i said she's just started out racing so she's learning well that's fine i mean yeah. it's not super it's not super competitive it's okay no, it's, to yeah, it's, you take know, it easy you know it'll take by the end of the season all uh all uh junior ones will usually be running at the same speed but they said when you're going out for your Now it's interesting to see that as soon as the kids start racing, the grandstand here starts to fill up. Seeing all the parents, when I'm talking to some of them actually, they're really quite excited to see their kids involved. That's, a lot of parents are like that, you find? Yeah. There's lots of families yeah, involved yeah, here too. Yeah, family, the, you know, brothers and sisters on racing teams. And uh, with a big lead now, Karen Lowen, or Karen Lowen, he's leading pretty good. That's miles ahead. Yeah. 66 Tristan. again, Tristan Murky, yeah. Yeah. And here comes our number 87. Third, 87, Michelle so, Curtis, Curtis has moved up. And, and that's why a third it looks spot. like a 37. The yeah. heat's kind of faded out there. Yeah, well, that's probably from rubbing against other carts, uh, tires wear your numbers off. <laughs> I guess so. Does that happen a lot? Turns in it, and there's not a lot of. Uh, opportunities for passing. So sometimes you wind up rubbing on someone to get by them. So what sort of things do you have to do? I mean, since you can't really outrace another car, what kind of skill, what tactic do you have to take to get, get you, past uh, that? You try to uh, you outbreak them. You find out where they're maybe plan ahead and, 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 and get him at that corner. Uh, the other opportunity is get him close down the straightaway and you can draft them. They're blocking the wind. You got a chance to pull out and slingshot by them, just like in NASCAR. Well, we've got a nice long stretch here. Yeah. But uh, they can do that in. This is what, about 500, 500 feet, I would guess, eh? Yeah, the track in total is 800 meters, uh, half. I believe the uh, juniors are running 20 lap, uh, 20 lap final. There we go, 66. I, I can't believe the distance put in between those front two. Yeah. That was 66, Tristan Murky. And the blue flag is out again. Yeah, for uh, Alexis uh, Bedell, just to warn her that uh, Michelle Curtis is coming by to lap her. Volunteers, all helping out, each with flags. Who have we got here? How many people have we got here? Oh, I'm trying to one, two, three, four, like five flag marshals as it is, and uh, you have the starter at the uh, finish line. That's kind of a fun job to do, especially if you're one of the parents watching your kids go around the corners. Murky. Wonder how many times they've laughed already. Here comes 87. Michelle Curtis. Number three, Dylan Madden. Already in the grid, we can see the next race. That's a junior two. The next one is oh, on. We got uh, mechanical problems there. Uh, and are we running to the running to the help? Yeah. They got a pylon stuck under uh, underneath the wheel, so you can't really move with the with, with almost like having the brakes on. So that was cart number uh, cart. 80. That's Riley Gordon. Yeah, he unfortunately it went wide on the corner and then and, and got the uh, pylon stuck. You know, you can hit them and it's no big deal, but usually uh, sometimes they'll get caught in between your uh, and the thing and slow you down as you're rubbing the uh, pylon around the track. 
it's not always easy to avoid them because when you take those corners just a little too fast